Today we take on the Love Potion Cocktail Challenge with our riff on a Tiki Classic. Stick around. Oh my gosh! This cabin you rented for Valentine's Day is amazing! Happy Valentine's Day, baby. Oh, a card. Love. Oh, what? The Love Potion Cocktail Challenge for the month of February for Valentine's Day. Campari? I know how much you like creating recipes, so I figured it'd be a good, fun, romantic activity. Where are you going? I want you to have full concentration, honey, so I'm going to go hit the slopes for a couple hours and we'll celebrate with that drink later. Hours. You're going to do great. See you tonight. But, but it's Valentine's Day. Well, after many years of being a spectator, it's finally time for us to participate in the Love Potion Cocktail Challenge of 2023. And we think that we got a pretty good entry. This challenge was started back in 2021 by Vino Valentino, David Edwards, and Rob Baldwin, and has some pretty straightforward rules. One, it must be made during the month of February. Two, it must be red or reddish in color. Three, it must contain a chocolate garnish. And four, you must tag the drink with Love Potion 2023. So we looked at how we could bring our love of tiki into this mix, and we decided to do a riff on a Saturn, swapping out that passion fruit for Campari, and also adding in some grenadine, thereby changing a Saturn into a Venus, because love. It consists of lemon, or ja, grenadine, Campari, falernum, and gin. The intent being that the bitterness of the Campari and tartness of the lemon and grenadine should play nicely against that orja and flarinum to make a full-bodied pink drink for you to enjoy with your loved one. All right, let's get started with a half ounce of lemon juice, a half ounce of orja, we're using Liquid Alchemist, quarter ounce of grenadine, this will bring that tartness, we're using Liquid Alchemist, a quarter ounce of Campari, this will bring that bitterness, quarter ounce of falernum. This will sort of round out the cocktail a little bit more. And one and a half ounces of gin. We're using a special tropical gin from our friends Matt and Sparkle at Ice Man Can't Cook. All right, let's pour this into our shaker. Add a couple ice cubes as we shake to chill, incorporate, and dilute. Gonna shake this for about eight to 10 seconds. Also just sounds good. Cool. Very sweet, very appropriate. Now we're gonna serve this up in a martini glass for romantic effect, but you could also just use a double rocks glass if you don't wanna be romantic. We're gonna serve this over crushed ice, as you can see, like a Saturn, and we're gonna just strain it right in. Ooh, nicely red. Now let's not forget that chocolate garnish. We're just gonna grade this all over the top. The dark shavings make it like the dark side of the planet, right? And so there it is, the Venus. Let's see how this turned out. Mmm, it's so good. You get the uh, chocolate notes off the nose, of course, because of the shavings. It's a really rich drink, but it's not too sweet with that Campari and pomegranate in there, keeping it a little more tart and bitter. But overall, it's really creamy and just really delicious. Well, that's it for our entry into the Love Potion 2023 challenge. Be sure to check out the other entries on YouTube by typing in hashtag Love Potion 2023. If you enjoyed this episode, be sure to give us a like and also let us know in the comments what you thought of this original cocktail. Thanks for watching everyone and happy Valentine's Day. Honey? Hello.